Hi everyone, this is my game. It is called Polygon Plateau and it's created in Minecraft Education Edition. I'm in the game at the moment as the creator and the world builder, so I can show you around the world really quickly, but then I'll show you what I've put in place so that the students can't damage my world or create havoc when they're playing or cheat. So when a student joins my world, they will be spawned, which is Minecraft world for a peer or be born, at this particular spot, looking at this first entrance guide and these welcome signs. So what they need to do is they need to read the signs, and we can go up here and have a look, talking about the challenge, and that they need to speak to the guides as they go along. So if I right click on him, he comes up with a dialogue. So because I'm in the world builder mode at the moment, you can see all these advanced settings and I can change this if I want to. So if I just walk out of this building, and so if I just walk out of this building here, this is the start of my world. So I'm just going to fly for a moment because I can and give you an overview of what the world looks like. So it's got this entrance building in this lovely green parky area and it's in the middle of a flat world with nothing else. So each section of the world, it's organised within rainbow colours, starts with the red level and what the students have to do is they have to um, look at each board when they go through and complete one activity which is on the left hand side and then they have an additional activity challenge which involves them creating on the right hand side. So it starts off with talking about perimeter, then it goes into area and then it becomes, so the first two are perimeter, then it goes area, area of a square, area of a rectangle, then perimeter of an irregular octagon and then the area of an irregular shape and at the very end when they make it through they can have their own fun space to work on. So now that I've shown you that I will go back to the beginning. If I press control I can fly a little bit faster. If I go back to the beginning there's a couple of things I've put in place. Now this is interesting because the content of what I was doing is not has not been the great issue. The issue for me is making sure the children can't destroy things. So the first time I trialled it with one of my Year 4 students, the very first thing he did was left click the first guide and kill him and get rid of him and he didn't know what to do. So I needed to figure out a way to make sure that didn't happen. So what I've done is I've created what's called an immutable world. It's amazing what you can find in blogs and and online forums. So I've created this immutable world which means when I'm not in world builder status the children can't destroy anything. So because I'm a world builder at the moment, I have to turn a few things off. So first of thing that I've turned off for the children, I just press T to go on my chat command. I go forward slash ability at all. So that's everybody may fly false. So when the students go into my world, they will not be able to fly. This means they can't cheat by um, flying over each wall to get into the new section. The other thing that they can't do is damage anything. So I'm just going to turn World Builder off for now. I have to go slash WB. Now my World Builder status has been removed. So now if I want to fly, I can't. So I'm double clicking the space button, which is how you fly, and I'm not able to do that. If I try and left click down at the grass here to destroy it, see I get that grey, I get these grey areas and I cannot destroy it. I've also got some block of gold here. If I right click, I'm trying to place that block of gold and build and I'm unable to do that. So how do we get around. Well the first thing we do is we walk towards this and level one doesn't require any special things to get in. I've put these two pressure plates here so if they go through level one they will automatically open.
So now if I left click on this guide, I can't destroy him. And when I right click, because I'm not the world builder, it comes up with the view that students will see. So hello traveller, for this first challenge you need to work out the perimeter of the shape behind me, write the answer on the board in front of the shape. So taking a photo is the other thing they need to be able to do. So if I go here, I've got the level one activity. So if students left click on that, they can't destroy it, which is brilliant. If they right click on it, it's unlocked. So some of boards are locked and some are unlocked. So what they can do here is by clicking on this and using their arrow keys, they can figure out the answer and type the answer in here and then they can take a photo of it. So if I go down to the, the camera, I can right click I can right click somewhere not on the poster and it takes a photo. Then if I right click using my portfolio, it opens up my portfolio, they've got a photo there and then I can, the students can capture that level one activity. Now at the end of the game, students can go down to export portfolio and they can save that portfolio to our school drive and I can check all of their work, I can check their answers and that's how I'm going to award experience points. So when I go over here, if I look at this particular extra challenge, what I've got here, um, this is locked. Well, apparently you can unlock it. Maybe I need to look at that. But this is an extra challenge. They can create a different shape here. Now, notice that I can't place gold anywhere here. If I go over to this area here, I can start placing blocks. So this is the area where the students are going to create their challenge design. So I can break blocks, I can create blocks because what I've done here is I've removed a whole stack of grass and I've replaced it with what Minecraft education calls allow blocks. So there's different kind of blocks you can use in education as teachers. One is a deny block so I can put, um, I could have gone through and put deny under all the things that I didn't want moved or destroyed like my guides and my signs but I thought it was easier to create this immutable world where they couldn't do anything except in these spots. So, so that's what I've got. So once I've done that activity, I've created my shape, I move to the next level, but I can't get through. It's locked, so I can't get through there. What I need to do is I could try and jump over. I can't, I can't build and climb over because my world won't let me. The only way for me to get through is to answer the question. So here, to get through the gate, you must answer the question correctly. How many correctly? How many signs sides does a pentagon have? If I click on this button there, number five, I go back. Voila, my gate has now opened. So this is basically what my world is. So there's the basically the what children go through the world. They can't get through any areas if they don't answer the questions correctly. So now I've gone back and that door's shut again. So this is basically the world. So once I get to the very end, I'm just going to turn my world builder status back on. I can fly now. Oops, hang on, my mayfly is off. Ability at all, that's everybody, mayfly true. Now I can fly, I can also destroy my world. So when they get to the very end here, I'll just fly up to show you quickly. They get to the very last section and this is a great big area here for them to play. So this is their free space and if they speak to this non-play, this NPC here, it tells them to export their portfolio. So that's my world. I hope you like it.